Hey everyone, here's a question. Find the HCF of 70, 105 and 175. Here we have to find out the high HCF, that's the highest common factor. Now, to find out highest common factor, there are multiple ways. So here I'm going to use a prime factorization. I'm going to use a division method here. I'm going to find out the prime factors using division method. And then later I'm going to tell you how to find out the HCF for all the three numbers. So whenever you do HCF, do the division method for three numbers different separately. So here we have 70. 70 is an even number. So I'm going to start with 2. 2 is a prime number. 235 is a 70. Now 35 doesn't go in 3. Next prime number is 5. So 5 7 is a 35. And 7 1 is a 7. Next we have is 105. Now this goes in uh, 3. I'm going to start with 3. 3 is a prime number. 3 3 is a 9. 1 is a remainder. That makes a number 15. 3 5 is a 15. 35 goes in 5. So 5 7 is a 35. And then 7 1 is a 7. Next we have 175. Now 175 doesn't go in 3. So I'm going to start with 5. So here we have 175. So 175 when, when I divide this with 5. So 5 3 is a 15. 2 will be remainder. I'm going to write this along with 5. That makes a number 25. So 5 5 is a 25. Again we got 35. 5 7 is a 35. And 7 1 is a 7. Now, once we have done this, we're going to rewrite all the factors what we got for each number. So here 70, for 70 we got, so 70 is equal to, write down these factors, 2 into 5 into 7. So it's 2 into 5 into 7. The next we have is 105. Same thing, for 105, so write the same factors, what, what factors we got, 3 into 5 into 7. Next we have is 175. For 175, we got 5 into 5 into 7. Now once we have written the factors, now to find out the HCF, we have to check the prime factor which is present in all the three. So if you see here, the 5 is present in all the three, 7 is present in all the three, right? 5, five factor is present in all 70, 105, 175, similarly 7. But for this 5, I don't have a common factor in 70 and 105. Similarly for 3, I have a 3 but it's not present in other two numbers. Similarly, 2, 2 is present in only 70, it's not present in other two numbers. So, HCF will be equal to, we have to multiply the prime factor which is present in all the three. So, 5 is present and 7 is present, so multiply it, 7, 5 is a 35. So, 35 will be the HCF of all these three numbers. Thank you.